Today's video is sponsored by you, the Room Sixers who have joined the Patreon page or purchased some of my music. Because of you, the videos will get better, and eventually, some cool things will be coming uh, your way. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm dipping a toe back in the music advice pool with today's sound bites. Um, today's topic is one that most of us have dealt with at some point, and many still are. Uh, we're struggling with it today more than ever. I'm talking about self-sabotage and its effects on your productivity as a creator. We'll look at what it is, ways it manifests, and ways to fight it. So straighten your crown and remember who you are, because we're fighting our greatest enemy, ourselves. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. We've already looked at another mental hurdle known as imposter syndrome on this channel. Self-sabotage is a direct offshoot of that. It's often a result of this feeling of inadequacy or being a fraud, and it can sometimes happen without us being aware of it. Self-sabotaging thoughts are the brain's way of protecting us from disappointment and keeping us in our comfort zone. The problem comes when that inner caution turns into inner criticism. In an article from June of 2018, the Creator's Tribe explains, while shutting up your inner critic and the thoughts it brings might not be possible, or advisable, you could use it. For instance, you get an idea, you create something, and you feel ready to share it with the world. Fear and doubt come creeping in at this moment and you want to stop. Take a deep breath and listen to that voice that's telling you that you can't. The article goes on to say, you should write down the thoughts that come up. This will help you see the pattern of self-sabotage that come up. Now write down why you think what you created is good. It might be very hard at first, especially after writing down all your doubts. You might need to take a break, and that's okay. Think back to the moment you first started creating, to the moment your first ideas came up. What lit you up? What made you happy, excited? Finally, now look at both lists. Recognize that self-sabotage list is just that, a list of your doubts that repeat themselves in many areas of your life. The more you will repeat this exercise with various moments in your life, the more you will come to see the negative patterns and you will be able to break free from them. Once you've taken a good look at yourself and your thoughts, what else can you do to help yourself deal? Well, you can set some heuristic rules of thumb to follow in given circumstances, making sure to prioritize tasks in terms of value to you and your goals. Learn to love incremental accomplishments, aka baby steps. Remembering that any progress is good. Don't underestimate the power of the to-do list in the fight against procrastinating and poor rationalization. And finally, look for ways to streamline your daily tasks to maximize your energy for fighting self-sabotaging thoughts. Obviously, there are a ton of other strategies, tips, and tricks you can implement in your battle for brain supremacy. The most important one, don't wait. The second this video is over, get started on a to-do list. Call a friend that can hold you accountable. Do something, anything, because the greatest weapon you have against self-sabotage your hands. Use them to seize the day and you'll be amazed at how much you can get done. I know you can do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you found it somewhat helpful. Remember, if you need any sort of help for any sort of mental stuff, whether it's self-sabotage, imposter syndrome, depression, whatever, get help. 
the longer you put it off, the worse it's going to be. And I'll tell you a secret. Every video I make, I deal with this stuff. Seriously. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down there. Don't forget to ring the bell. I'd appreciate it. Remember to be amazing. Stay safe. Stay strong. And we'll see you next time on Room 6.